Hello YouTubers, this is Angela coming at you once again. I wanted to dis um, to discuss a few things um, with you guys. Um, I hope uh, you all can stay with me, but this is just some important information that um, I do want to share with you all. Um, I had, um, I'm from Houston, as I previously stated, and you see that on my bio uh, when you go to my channel. However, this is of importance, and I do apologize. Put a puffy eyes and swollen face. My allergies are really messing with me today, and I have not been um, feeling of the best in the heat. The heat um, it may, uh, makes my allergies go haywire. But anyway, I just want to let you know what I have been noticing um, over the airway. So I thought I'd do a little research on everything, and come to find out, I'm not the only one experiencing this. Also, uh, I won't be I won't be the last person to experience this as well. What I'm basically talking about with you guys: Have you noticed in your area, or when you're driving, or you're on the other side of um, of your um, city or town, wherever you live in? Um, if you look up, you might hear um, the military helicopter. You look up, and it's the military. Uh, we live. Um, about 20 miles from Ellerton, 20 to 25 miles away from Ellerton Field, uh, which is the military um, airport that we have here. Um, we have three major airports in Houston, which is Bush Intercontinental, Hobby, um, and also Ellerton Field, which is the military um, air base. Um, also, I just want to let you know, have you noticed that you have had the black op helicopters flying around um, your area. Um, also the drone helicopters or you might see two um, helicopters in the sky. One really really big and um, another one coming behind it that's uh, quite smaller. What I want to let you know the black um, op helicopters or they're doing um, is doing test runs. Okay when they about to invoke the new world um, order which has been in the place if you know um, or read your Bible and speak on the things that um, see read and read what Jesus has said about um, the evil that has been present um, I could go dwell on that and I could tell you who um, basically you know some people uh, want to limit themselves right now about who's behind the new world or order well, if you look in your Bible, it distinctly tells you who's behind the New World Order. Now, I know saying this, a lot of people are going to come and give me comments on that. Well, they might say, Sister, tell me who's behind it. And it's going to blow the socks off of you because you wouldn't have never thought about it. Then, uh, the, then again, there's those who um, might have been perplexed or thought about it, but was not quite sure. Um, but if you want to know, I will um, basically let you know that as well um, but again you have might notice the black helicopters flying around what is doing the scanning they're running the scans to see however all those drone helicopters are scanning you they can see inside your home it's like an x-ray to them they can see what they go, go by body heat um, as well as the black um, drone, um, black helicopters go by the body heat or however your core heat also, um, they can see inside your vehicles, and you might um, reach out your look out your window, or you see something, look up, oh, it just scans your face. So it it needs to know where you're at at all times, or air and everything like that. Because when they do get ready to invoke um, the um, NWO New World Order, and they want to put in martial law, that's the reason why you you would think. How would I know this? Okay, because we had an incident uh, sometime back in Houston to where they had a secret um, little um, test launch meeting and to whereas they had the uh, black military vehicles out there with the big satellite um, uh, antenna swooshing around on the top of the black vehicles. You also, we also had the Houston Police Department, HPD, what we call out there manning the gates like doing robots as a test um, I'm sorry uh, Roblox as a test um, blockage way to test the, the people that was actually invited to the the viewing of the so-called test lunch 
Okay, um, and they was just basically saying that um, they had it in the air for um, lies of reason. Notice I said lies of reason because they was lying about it. Okay, and um, they were just doing that because it's uh, they're they're testing to um, to keep an eye on you at all time. When they say Big, Big Brother is watching, yeah, Big Brother is watching. You think I'm in my house? I'm not worried about it. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything, sweetie. You need to worry about it. You also need to might go on the net or do some deep, 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 deep searching, and you will find how they already have you listed. You either on the yellow list, you on the red list. Or you on the blue list? And the red list is those on the blue, um, red list that might speak against the New World Order, Illuminati. Um, you understand that there are terrorists that's out there, however, but you have to be very careful because the terrorist is not who you think it is. They, um, everybody looking overseas or whatever. It's on your homegrown land, and and it ain't always the the neighbor around the corner or the guy that looks make psychotic it's the people in your own government that's doing the things that they're doing okay purposely mm -hmm. purposely they purposely bringing us down the hole the rabbit hole so deep that you can't even climb out so do your research people I just want to let you know that but again if you get in this here and you find wow what's what's going on this guy that's what's happening the chemtrails is another thing if you notice we're um in a water drought okay and um, we have a water shortage. And if in my past videos, I have to, in the video I have said, please stock up on the water. God gave me that revelation a long time ago. And at that time, we had no need to be, you know, there was no water shortage. Okay, but it is a water shortage shortage now. And you haven't seen anything as of yet. Um, I just want to let you know that be strong, stay encouraged, pray about everything. This is not a thing to give fear into your your sister because God does not give us the spirit of fear. However, He never told us to be anybody's fool or live foolishly. Now, um, wisdom pays a part in everything. He said, "Those who have eyes uh, will see, and the ears that will hear." You know, I see, ears hear. Basically, I'm putting in my own words. However, you know what I'm getting at. So, I just want to let you know. Wake up, everybody. Okay. Wake up, stop sleeping on it, stop believing everything that you see always in the media. They're going to reroute it and twist it. You have to know who's behind the media, okay? So you think they're going to actually let some things go out and everything. I watch a, a show here and Google it because I believe you can watch it on the Internet um, for those who are not from Houston. We actually have one news um, cast, and I'm not saying they're 100%, but it's called News Fix down here. And a lot of people like your mainstream, your mainstream um, news broadcast, but they're um, a little unorthodox, as I can say it. And my 15-year-old comes home from school, and she basically wants, at 5 o'clock, she has to watch News Fix. And she said the reason why it interests her, because they put things in terminology to where it's not, you. you if, even if they were speaking in code, you basically figured it out. They have one guy at the end. He will basically tell you, I am Christian. However, he will come on and they will speak about it. They have come on and they sp spoke about the Illuminati. They have came on and they spoke about um, basic New World Order. Things that normally news broadcasters don't speak on. They actually want to hear it from the people about what you think or what you feel. They do broadcast your weather reports or different things that happen in the area like crime or whatever. But know this, they also uh, will broadcast on things that your regular new bro news broadcasters will not um, um, report on. Okay, so they're, they're very unorthodox. But what I'm saying to you is go to and Google it and put in newsfix.com um, and you'll be surprised at things that you learn. Also, um, if you have a chance, I want you to type in to your toolbar and to and when you can because these broadcasts are very good and it deals with the things that's going on today's things and topics um, his name is Perry Stone so when you go to Perry Stone um, Ministries 
Um, they have one called VOA Media. Look at that, and that's a new way he upstream his programs, and I like it because a lot of things that um, I just recently started watching him about three months ago. No, 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 no. About four or five months ago. Okay. And honestly, I had not heard of Perry Stone before then. I actually stumbled across it, and I was about to check on television. I was about to change the channel, but it caught my attention, and I've been watching him over um, the internet or however ever since because there's a lot of things um, a lot of things will probably try to scare you if you go type in end time or everything you're gonna get a bunch of stuff like that they was just talking about that on news six yesterday so I'm let you know they do talk about things like that that your um, normal news broadcasters will not talk about go on there and um, basically I, I bet you know what let me let me rewind that let me rewind that just come back take a couple of steps back. What I want to, and I'm sorry for moving the screen so much, everything is sitting on my lap. What I want to basically tell you is this. Pay attention to the news, okay? Mainstream news. Look at it for yourself. Google it because it's people that actually were there videotaped it and they put it on a thing. Um, sometimes they end up getting taken down so you have to catch it when you catch it. Um, the things that's going on in Libya, the things that went on in Egypt, the things that's going on in Israel, you have to know this and 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 know that we are truly getting close and closer and closer to Jesus coming back. Yash, um, Yeshua, um, is the same. Um, basically, Yeshua is Jesus. Okay. However, but I just want to just let you know that do not worry, do not fret. These things has to happen and they have to come and come to pass in order for our, our Lord and Savior to come back and even return. So, the things about certain things, you can't worry about wars or rumors of wars. You can't worry about the economic collapsing. God is good. You think he's not going to take care of his children? Baby, please, what, what loving father would not take care of his children? A loving father would take care of his children. So, remember that. So, don't worry about it. I'm not saying these things to put you in fear, but I am saying these things for you to pay attention to the things that's going on. See, because you're supposed to pay attention to the signs of the time, okay? And who says signs of time always mean weather? Signs of time can mean the, the things that's going on. That when you look up, and I see what John was saying in Revelation, said when he saw the locusts flying, okay, in the sky. If you Google or whatever, Google a black helicopters, go to YouTube, black helicopter. They have photos and Im I'm sorry, images of the black helicopters and the drones. The black helicopters for someone back then that did not know what helicopters were or anything flying in the sky that man has made, those black helicopters actually do look like locusts. Mm-hmm. Got your attention with that one, then I? So the things that's going on, you have to think about. They was describing things the way they saw it. Some people actually thought that they was going to see giant locusts in the sky. No, sweetie. No. The tanker trucks, all that. Um, I just got through looking at a video by Theodore, Theodore and Michelle Aluch, um, a prophet and a prophetess. But um, they got a website called The Holiness uh, Ministries. When he was saying that, he loaded it yesterday. When he was saying that he had a dream about the, um, I think he said F-35 planes or however, the fighter jet planes that came over from Russia. However, I'm not, um, I believe that it's not only Russia, but it might be as well as China or however. Because I had the same similar dream. I cannot recall the plane I saw um, in the dream, but it was a huge, 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 huge plane that can actually hold another smaller plane inside like fighter jets fighter jets okay and he saw um, a lot of different stuff the same thing I saw um, in a similar dream however it came to him a little bit more differently because we're not going to have the exact identical dream uh, if it happens it's rare but um, it still has similarities there are a whole bunch of them to whereas it drew me a need to upload a video today uh, again, sorry, I'm just, uh, my eyes are, uh, forget about it. Pray for me, people. Pray for me as I pray for you. Um, but I just want you to be aware of those things going on. And I know you don't want to hear me just keep running.